Let's first start with creating a new main stack and adjusting the screen to about the size that we want to make our calculator at. Let's first start by adding four buttons to the card. And now what we want to do is we want to align them. You can select them all, align to the top. You can try edge to edge, which would put them close together, or across the card, which would make them equidistant. Now we want to go ahead and set the width and the height manually. We'll just go with 90 for now. Now I want to give you a tip here. What I'm actually doing is adjusting by using the keyboard and not always the mouse. Uh, sometimes it's good, but it's easier to use, I find it's easier to use the keys um, to get close proximity. All right, now we're going to copy and paste. A nice way to create your user interface for something like the calculator is to use copy and paste. It's, it's quicker. Now that we've adjusted the buttons, it saves you time and effort. Okay, we're just making some adjustments, and now we're getting closer to begin to look like the calculator. We select all the buttons, and now what we want to try to do is make our final adjustments. And let's go ahead and pick the icons and borders, and what we want to do is turn off all the borders, the 3D, we want them right now just to be uh, simple buttons. And we're going to go apply uh, colors. The first group that we're going to pick is the right side, which are our operator buttons, and the uh, color is orange. And of course, once the user clicks, you want to set a slightly darker color that matches the Apple interface. And the text color should be white, which contrasts with the orange and matches Apple. Now we're selecting all of the gray buttons and let's go ahead and set very similar properties. Now we're going to set the fill color, the highlighted color, and the text color. Now let's go ahead and set the font. Experiment with this when you want to try something. I'm going to try uh, 28. Could be a little bit bigger. Now we're setting the labels and the name of each of the buttons. In the next lesson, we will actually add code to these buttons and objects, and we will use the name
In the next lesson, we're going to actually use the name of the buttons to perform um, operational actions. So it's important that you uh, set the names properly. And we're going through and doing each one. Now, for the, oh, we have an extra little button there. And we will, we can size that to be like this here. Right? Okay. And as you'll see in the next lesson, what we actually do is we will read the label um, to perform the actual mathematical calculation. So as you press the number, it reads the number that you want to press. As you press the button, it actually reads the label and it knows the number. So that makes it quite simple. Okay, now we have all of the buttons created and we're really starting to look like the calculator. Next, we're gonna go ahead and set the background color to the, to the card. And now it's starting to really look like the calculator. And now we wanna go with the number display. So we've added it. We want it to go ahead and fill up that area course we want to set the color to white. Now that doesn't look like the calculator so again we have to go set the text formatting to um, be more reflective of the app. The only thing we have left is to set the label to zero and let's go ahead and set the name to display. Congratulations, you have designed the user interface for the calculator app and you have created it with LiveCode.